At more than 200 sites throughout Minnesota, watershed professionals are taking the pulse of rivers. They're part of the Watershed Pollutant Load Monitoring Network. This network measures the amount of several pollutants traveling down Minnesota's major rivers and streams. Through intensive monitoring, this network measures and compares regional differences in water quality. The data also help determine long-term water quality trends. Depending on site conditions, a telescoping rod may be needed to collect a water sample. This program provides a tutorial on how to do that. Mike Wallerack is a water monitoring specialist with the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency. He's on Hawk Creek near Granite Falls to show how to properly take a water sample using a telescoping rod. I'm down here at the water's edge right now and I'm going to be taking a sample using the telescoping rod. Uh, it's important that you find an area where you can reach good flow with your rod. Uh, you want to make sure when you come down that you bring all your equipment that you're going to need to take the water sample. Uh, once you're down here, you want to gently loosen up the cap to the water bottle. Uh, just have it ready. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to rinse your sampler three times. So it doesn't necessarily have to be out right in the flow where you're going to be doing your rinsing. But you just want to rinse it to make sure there isn't any uh, contamination in your bottle. Okay, we rinsed it three times. I'm going to extend the sample all the way out. Now this dip is going to be for the water sample. You want to make sure you point the bottle upstream to kind of uh, trap any air in there and also kind of downward. You get it down below the surface of the water and tip it up. It's also important here not to get any of the surface water or as little of the surface water as possible because there might be some leaves and debris uh, floating on the surface that can possibly contaminate your sample. Once here, take your lid off, your sample bottle, get a flow of water going out of the collection bottle, and fill your bottle. There's three things you want to keep in mind when you're taking a water sample using the telescoping rod. One is you want to make sure that your collection bottle is secured. You don't want it uh, coming off in the stream and floating downstream. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is you want to make sure that you don't hit the bottom uh, with the collection bottle when you're taking a sample. You don't want to accidentally get any uh, sediment or debris in your uh, water sample that you're collecting. Uh, and lastly, you want to make sure when you're filling the bottle that you don't touch the lips of the bottle when you're uh, filling your sample. These samples will become part of an extensive database of water quality across Minnesota. Through this network, the MPCA, Metropolitan Council Environmental Services, and local partners collect water quality samples from major rivers. These specialists then compute stream pollutant loads by coupling sampling data with discharge data from the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources and United States Geological Survey. This monitoring work is funded by the Clean Water Land and Legacy Amendment. The MPCA coordinates and oversees this network of professionals from state agencies, local governments, and watershed groups.